What's good, you guys? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this mother. Yes, Sersky. All right, so, man, we got Lil' Kim exposes how she rescued women from Diddy, but Diddy blackmailed her, bro. Let's get it. Spicy. Girl, Lil' Kim just stepped into the boxing ring with Diddy, and she is throwing a lot of heavy punches at him because she is determined to take him down once and for all. If there is one person who has a lot of tea on Diddy, it's Lil' Kim, because she has been with him from the very start of Bad Boy Records and his rise to the top. See, Kim is now exposing Diddy's shadiest and nastiest actions, like how she has been saving women from Diddy's clutches, saving them from being potentially SA'd by him. Not just that, but she also revealed how Diddy has held this against her for years and how he deliberately sabotaged her career. Girl, y'all need to be sad for this because Lil' Kim has stories for days. Y'all, this Diddy situation is getting worse and worse because people in the industry are starting to speak up and recount their encounters with him. And well, let's just say that they don't exactly have nice things to say about him. I mean, it goes without saying that a powerful man like Diddy would have made some enemies in the industry over the years, but it's more than that. Apparently, some artists in the business have known about his bad behavior when it comes to treating women like trash. And rapper Lil' Kim Kim is finally having the guts to speak up against Diddy and stand up for what's right. For those who don't know, Lil Kim has been quite open over the years about how she simply can't stand Diddy. She has been holding a major grudge against him for years, and even though she didn't go into details about why, she made it clear that she was not willing to let it go or ever speak to him again. A couple of years ago, new information came to light when a voice recording by Kim leaked online where she was accusing Diddy of being selfish and disloyal, adding that he often did things to people who were under him, and he managed to get away with it because of his connections and money. You know, at the end of the day, like, Puffy is Puffy. He will never, he will, I mean, you know, it's all about what he can do, what he can get from people. That's it. Puffy is it's all about himself a lot of times. Knowing what wow. we know now about Diddy and his shenanigans, it kind of sounded like Kim was referring to the shady activities that have gotten him sued by five different people in less than six months. But back then, we had no idea. But now that we know what we know about Diddy, Lil' Kim is now stepping up to reveal some even shadier stuff about Diddy, like how he allegedly uses women and how she had to step in and rescue some women from his control, which eventually led to him blackmailing her. According to Kim, Diddy allegedly has a habit of trying to get with female dancers even if they don't want to get with him. Believe it or not, there are many women who have probably heard the stories about him and they want nothing to do with him because they know that he's bad news. Kim gave an example of one such woman, a dancer who was just trying to get her bag and make a name for herself in the industry. Diddy had his eye on her and made moves on her, but she turned him down because she was uninterested. But rather than take his L in peace, Diddy allegedly started to her, threatening to hurt her if she refused to give in to his demands. The situation eventually escalated at a concert where Diddy was billed to perform at, and he allegedly cornered her backstage, berating her, and threatening to make sure that she never worked with anyone again Dang. unless she gave in to him. Luckily for the dancer, Lil' Kim was also backstage at the concert, and she stepped in to protect the dancer, getting in Diddy's face and threatening to expose him if he didn't back off and leave the woman alone. Diddy eventually backed off because he knew that Lil' Kim don't play about stuff like that. Then we also had the story of radio personality Miss Jones who claimed that Diddy threatened to put her in a trunk when she refused to give in to him. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but that's certainly giving me Jeffrey Epstein vibes. She claimed that Diddy was Dang. getting scarier and scarier when Lil' Kim eventually stepped in and put Diddy in his place, telling him to leave Miss Jones alone. And a cat. It's something that is built in somebody. Um, and Diddy, every time I don't I want you blowing up my house or my car or anything like Good that. Good night! I want you to go. Because I don't. I cannot, he I already cannot. threatened to put me in the trunk of a car. And little Kim said, leave Jonesy alone. Jonesy don't hurt nobody. Stop, yep. Like I said, Lil' Kim has never been here for Diddy's BS, and she has made it her life's mission to try to sabotage his messy and shady activities, especially when it comes to his activities with other women. But even worse, Diddy is surrounded by yes men who only enable his bad behavior and never hold him accountable for his actions. This kind of adds up with what Cassie said in her lawsuit, where she accused his security managers and even his lawyers of being complicit in his bad behavior, accusing them of helping him keep her under his control, even when they knew that he was treated 
treating her very badly and doing some illegal things. They watched it happen and did nothing to help her or stop him, so Kim's claims kinda add up. Now, if you're wondering why Kim holds such a major grudge against Diddy, well, it's because she knows what it's like to be a victim of an abusive relationship. Kim used to have an affair with Biggie Smalls, and she has been quite open about how he used to put paws on her, berate her, and made her feel small and worthless. She has admitted that the relationship was very, very toxic, so it's impressive that she's standing up for women who are in the same messy situation. But that's not the only reason because Diddy once went above and beyond to ruin her life and career for no other reason than because he wanted to. See, Kim was getting more and more powerful in the industry and Diddy couldn't have this, so he tried to sabotage her. For example, Kim once talked about the time that she was meant to appear on one of Michael Jackson's albums. MJ is the GOAT and a collab with him was a dream of many artists, including Lil' Kim. MJ specifically wanted Lil' Kim, but Diddy was not about to let that happen. Crazy, um, Rodney Jerkins, he was working on um, Michael Jackson's album and he was like, yo, I was playing Queen for Michael Jackson. And he was like, man, I love how she raps, raps behind the beat and it's so sexy. I was like, he said that? Nah. He was like, yeah. Wow, so Mike. To say, we're trying to get you on the album. Stop. I was like, what? I almost, I think I might, I might, my leg is still trying to oh, recover because I fell out the seat. And oh my God. Yeah. According to Kim, she was already recording her verses for the album when her manager at the time went behind her back to kill the deal. Y'all want to guess who her manager was at the time? Diddy. Surprise, surprise. It was Diddy. Now, this was way back in the day when Lil' Kim was still messing around with Biggie Smalls, who was signed to Bad Boy. So she knew Diddy quite well. It's just crazy how he destroyed the career of an artist he was managing out of jealousy and spite. Yeah, I understand why Kim held a grudge because Diddy was being a hater. And okay. Puffy was my manager at the time. Okay. And when we brought into Puffy Puffy, he was like, Puffy can be a little bit controlling because I was like his little sister. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I think I don't know if him and Rodney were going through something at the time, but it it was it just never happened because I was I was a kid, so yeah. I wasn't handling my business. But I remember seeing Rodney and he's going, Yo, what's up? I've been calling and you don't want to be on Michael Jackson's. I was like, What are you crazy? Of course I do. But I didn't know what was going on behind the scenes. So that was a missed opportunity, not due to my anything I did, but like it just you know, it was out of my control. That's and I really, up, really, 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 really just want to go somewhere. Yeah, Kim's anger is justified because Diddy was way out of line. But that's not the only time that he stabbed her in the back because when she went to prison, he immediately switched allegiance and started working with her rival, Nicki Minaj. Nicki and Kim already had a fully blown feud and everyone knew that they didn't like each other. So Diddy switching up on her like that was just very nasty to say the least. That's why I said in my books on my show, Poppy, you should be ashamed of yourself. Because at the end of the day, if you're gonna rock with anybody that hard, you should be rocking with But it gets worse, because when Diddy was asked about the situation in an interview, he pinned it on Kim, calling her a drama queen. I want to say I love Lil' Kim, Me man. Too. I love Lil' Kim, and I'm, I'm sorry that she, I'm sorry that she's mad. I never would have thought by, you know, me working with another artist that she would, you know, take it, you know, the wrong way. But if she's taking it the wrong way, you know, it, it ain't meant like that, you know what I'm saying? It's just that, you know, Nikki, Nikki's never did anything to her. Nikki never did never pay a homage. She ain't trying to swagger Jack or say nothing negative about her. And I just think that, you know, Kim, you know, you know, needs to just understand that, that, that Nikki as a whole, you know, just is, is, it has always been respectful of her. Mm. And Nikki's not trying to be her. So we riding with Nikki and we still riding with Kim. You know mm. what I'm saying? We, we, we love and respect the, the, the days that, and the history that we've had with little mm. Kim. And you know, it ain't, it ain't no beef, but you know, Kim is gonna be an MC. And you know, MCs, when they coming back out, a lot of times they like to talk crazy and do what they do. But you know, at the end of the day, everybody respects, you know, everybody respects little Kim for being- He also claimed that Nikki yeah, had right. done nothing wrong and that Kim was the one who had issues with Nikki for some reason. I had with her and I ain't gonna make no apologies for, for working with Nikki Minaj, you know what I'm saying? Kim's the OG. And it seemed when you was coming at Nikki, you was, you know, just being bitter and disgruntled. You seem like like the old, you remember Players but Club, the, the, the tricky chick? Let me tell you why you're wrong. And let me tell you why you did wrong. 
Child, this situation is as nasty as you can imagine. And like I said before, Kim's anger with Diddy is justifiable. And it's no surprise that she hasn't let go of her anger after all this time. Especially when you consider that Diddy actively tried to ruin her life and career while he should have been looking out for her and helping her rebuild her career. And then went ahead to work with her op? Yeah, I would be livid as well. Fans left comments saying, Kim been around. I know she has a lot to tell. This is why Lil' Kim is my boo. She always protecting people. And Diddy is a punk and I don't believe he will address Kim. His pride and ego won't let him. Just lock him up and throw away the key. Guilty of all charges and the death of Big, Pop, Heavy, L, and Kim Porter. Then ask Lil' Kim how she feels about that because that interview will be priceless. I really want to know how y'all feel about this situation. Man, oh man, Diddy, Diddy's a hater. He's a, a butt monster and everything else, man. So Lil' Kim had an opportunity to work with the greatest Michael Jackson, bro. Mike said out his own mouth, he liked that Lil' Kim vibe. And Diddy held it back. That would have put Lil' Kim way over the top. If, if Kim would have been on a record with Michael Jackson, bro, that would have been fire. Diddy, you is wrong, my boy. But you don't get everything that's coming to you, my boy. You're going to get everything that's coming to you. All the wrong that you did to people, like, like on the color purple. Everything you did to me, I already did back to you. Like the color purple said, man. R.I.P. to all the ones that died, man. Biggie, Pop, Kim. May they so rest in peace. My condolences goes out to all the lost victims families, man, for real.